How's it going guys? Right now we're on our way to Big Bend's National Park where we're going to be doing a video walk around our third gen Tacoma. It's going to be awesome. Make sure to stay tuned. All right guys, so let's get to it. The first thing we're gonna talk about is suspension, wheels, and tires. So for the suspension, we decided to go with iBox Pro Truck Lift System. Right now the truck is sitting at two inches of lift, but you do have the option to choose between three settings. You have the option to go with stock height, 1.5 inches of lift and go all the way up to 2.5 inches which is not recommended just because your ride's going to be extremely stiff unless you add one of these bumpers and, bring, and it will bring it down for the leaf springs we have diverse expedition series these springs will allow you to carry between 400 to 600 pounds so for the wheels i wanted something aggressive something that would make the truck give it like a really nice stance there was a lot of options out there to choose from, but I decided to go with the Stealth Custom Series Model 5. These wheels have a negative 25 offset and 3.5 backspacing. That's what makes these wheels give the truck the stance that it has. For the tires, we decided to go with Mickey Thompson's Baja Claw TTCs. These are radial tires. I did not find that many reviews out there, so I wanted to test them out myself. I am going to be doing a video review on these tires because I have a lot to say. This size on these tires are 315s by 75 and the wheels are 16 inches. Let's move on to armor and everything that comes along with it. So for the front, we have CBI's T3 front bumper with short center grill guard. A few of you guys have been asking if the grill guard does block and mess around with Toyota safety sensor. And although it does look like it does, it will not affect it at all. For the light bar on this bumper, we went with Heretic's 20 inch light bar. I absolutely love it. The first time we tried this light bar, it was on our second gen Tacoma. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I didn't really believe in the light bar. I didn't. The company is fairly new, but they surprised me with the light output that's on this thing. It is insane. I decided to go with the amber look on this truck. I just feel like it goes really well with the whole truck and it matches the top rotopacks. Cool thing about this light bar is you can customize it 100%. You can choose the color of the outer basil as well as the screw colors. For the winch, we decided to go with Warren's VR8S. This holds 90 feet of synthetic rope, and along it, one of my favorite parts that just adds on to this bumper is the Factor 55 fair leads with the flat link that it has. It just looks really clean, and it goes so well with the bumper. Underneath the truck, we have CBI's full skid plate. 
and lower control arm skids. Now having these things down there is just one less thing to worry about when going wheeling. You're not gonna be worried about hitting your oil pan or anything like that. Also the design behind this is really cool. It allows you to access the oil fairly easy as well as the filter. They also did some holes down there so if you're ever doing some river crossing, it's not gonna pull you down or hold you down. It's just gonna drain itself and you won't have to worry about anything. For these sliders, we went with CBI's 3.0 sliders. Now you can choose to have these straight flush or do what I did, which is get them with the kick out option. I absolutely love that just because it allows me to get a little more access onto the roof rack as well as setting up my tent whenever I need to. For the back, one of the coolest things on this truck is CBI's T3 high clearance rear bumper with dual swing outs. Guys, make sure to subscribe. We're going to be bringing a video just on this bumper. So if you guys have any questions, make sure to leave them down below. Let's get to it. On this bumper, we have two rotor packs, each holding two gallons, as well as a high lift to go along with it. When we open up the two dual swing outs, guys, and I will recommend getting the dual swing outs over the single arm just because of weight distribution, you won't be adding all of that weight onto one arm. Hey, fellow Tacoma. Now, the dual swing outs do have three mounting locations. Here, I'm gonna set it up in the second one, which allows me to bring out the table, giving me more space to just cook or do whatever it is that I need to do while I'm camping. And it has a second, a third table as well. As a storage system, we decided to go with deck. This has allowed us to keep our equipment dry, safe, and extremely organized. I was a little skeptic about it at the beginning because it does take up a lot of space off your bed, but that gets made up with the Overland bed rack. So now I absolutely love it. It does have these ammo cans right here, just to add up a little bit more of that lost space in case you wanna put any small things in there, you name it. But as far as this goes, I really like it. At the beginning, I thought I would wanna take it out. You know, I'll just put it on, see how it worked. But now I just, there's no point to it. it. It really allows me to keep everything organized and I don't see myself taking it out of there anytime soon. Moving on, for the Overland bed rack, we decided to go with CBI as well. It only made sense since we had their front bumper, rear bumper and sliders. I really like how CBI makes all of their components look really well together. Now this Overland bed rack is extremely versatile. You can mount almost up to anything on it. We have the water port on it, as well as some tread boards in case we ever get stuck. All right guys, up top we have CBT Tents Mount Shasta. This allows you to get up to two people up here. You could squish in three, but it's gonna be a little bit tight. I decided to go with the burgundy color just because it was new and no one out there had it. I was a little bit scared at the beginning because I didn't know how it was gonna look with this truck, but I absolutely love it. Another cool feature that this tent has that I really like is the roof. It has a sunroof feature where you can just unzip it. It'll still stay closed, but you'll, able, you'll be able to see through it so you can see the stars at night when you're going to sleep. We have the Prince roof rack with a 40 inch cutout. If you guys decide to go with this, I promise you, you will not stop staring at your truck. It happened to me the first time I put it on, whether your truck is stock, it's got lifted, it's got huge tires, no matter what it is, adding this roof rack just makes your truck extremely aggressive. Up top, we have two load panels just to give us a few more mounting locations. Up there, we have this Rotopack 72 hour preparedness kit attached to a water tank, just in case we ever need water when we're out on the road. Next to it, we have the beaver shovel to help us dig ourselves out any sketchy situations. 
And finally, we have the headlights and taillights. The taillights are available, but the headlights are actually prototypes. So I won't be able to go through the different options that this headlight has. One of them being the sequential turn signals. Make sure to stay tuned, guys. I am gonna make a video once these are finalized and ready, specifically only on these headlights, showing you the light output and the sequential turn signal, as well as all the other features. That about wraps it up. If you guys like this video, make sure to give us a like and don't forget to subscribe for all the videos that I promised you. I'll see you guys on the next video.